Hey third graders, my name is Mrs. Compton and you've probably seen me around your school or maybe even in your classroom. Hopefully you've seen me in a video now for sure. So you know I love doing math and I love counting and doing coral counts and all that stuff. So you've probably done a coral count before but I'm just going to remind you what to do. So we are all going to count together and we're going to count by one half starting at zero in this coral count. So the first thing we would say is zero, one half, two halves, so on. All right, so we're all gonna count together, so you're gonna count out loud with me. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm just gonna put a little flat around that. All right, so ready, count. Zero, one half, two halves, three halves, Four halves, five halves, six halves, seven halves, eight halves. All right. What do you notice here? What do you notice? We've got zero, one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, so on, so on. So what do you guys notice? You can tell me in the comments or you can tell me in Google Classroom if your teacher posts there. What do you notice here? I bet you notice that it starts at zero. Did anybody notice that this is worth one? Because two halves, if you think about a sandwich, you have a whole sandwich and you cut it in two halves, it's a half and a half, still makes a whole, right? So maybe you thought, thought about, ooh, maybe you even thought about it as a number line. This is worth one, that's still worth zero. What else did you notice? Did you notice that that still is one half? That's still the one half point between zero and one. I bet I know what somebody's gonna say next. I bet somebody's gonna say, I noticed that there's also the whole number two because four halves, if I put it in a number bond, is made up of two halves and two more halves. Is that true? So two halves plus two halves makes four halves, so that makes one and two. So, so far, you've probably noticed that we have zero, we have one, we have two. Do we have a three? All right, tell me which one is three. We do have a three, tell me which one. One, two, three, tell me. You got it. Six halves makes three because two halves plus another two halves would be four halves plus another two halves would be six halves so we'd have three and you've probably by now thought all right eight halves will be four all right so so far we have zero one two three and four what would three halves be what would three halves be it would be two halves so that's one and then another one Kind of like in that number bond I showed you for the last one. Three halves is the same as two halves and one half. So that's worth one whole and a half. So that would be one and one half. So you probably guessed by now that each one of these is a halfway point. We've got two and one more half. So this would be two and a half. That would be three. So this would be three and a half. So you can place um, improper fractions on a number line just by thinking about a coral count. So when you hear three halves, you could say, hmm, I know two halves is a whole, and this one is just one more half. So that would make it one and one half. All right, shall we check it out with force? All right, let's check it out with force. So this time I'm gonna say, oh, I think we'll, we'll still count by one force starting at zero. All right, let's do that. Here we go. I'm gonna move my zero over, have a little more room. All right, ready? You have to count with me, don't forget. Ready, count. Zero, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths. Let's stop right there. 
All right, so what do you notice now? So I'm just going to give you a second to think. Think about all the things that you could notice here. I bet some of you noticed it is always increasing by one fourth. Doesn't matter where you are, it's always increasing by one fourth as you count. That's true. That could help us because if you know which one is a whole, just like we did on the last one, we could figure out a number line, that's still zero. And four fourths, you probably know, is worth a whole. Right? So where's two? What would two be worth? That's right, you probably guessed it. Four fourths plus another four fourths would make eight fourths, and that would make two wholes. So really, if you think about it, you've got the improper fraction, five fourths, so that would just be worth one whole and another half of one fourth. So this would be one whole and one fourth, so then that would be, this one would be one whole, and then we've, we're going to add another one fourth. So that means two fourths, so one whole and two fourths. And some of you might know that two fourths is the same thing as one half. And we can see that between zero and one, there's one half right there. So maybe you even want to write that's the same as one and one half. And you can see that between one and two would be logically one and one half. So that means seven fourths would be worth one and and these don't really change. So one fourth and three fourths just stay the same. So when we did our coral count by one fourth starting at zero, we also in a way did the same count as this, zero, one fourth, one half, three fourths, one, one and a fourth, one and a half, one and three fourths, two. It's the power of knowing improper fractions. See you later, guys. I hope to see you in class sometime soon. Bye.